Hey Raiders, welcome back to another Live Arena Battle video. This video will feature 6 fights and 4 wins, so back on the winning track, at least for now. Seems to be pretty streaky where I get days where I have a lot of losses and other days where I have a lot of wins. Um, this covered 2 days, so Thanksgiving and the day after. So, I get Valdarian, and I pick... CP first, and they go Speed Arbiter, and what looks to be disruptive, probably Speed Accuracy Wukong. I'll go with Duchess and my Stone Skin Errol, planning to ban the Wukong. Looks like they have all three of their support already, plus Rotos. I will go with a Rotos counter, which is Goffred, and see who they go with for their second damager. I also go with a Rotos Killer, which is Inithway. And they go Mighty Uko, so that means Wukong is probably a flex pick. Uh, he's probably a hybrid. But I'm going to ban the Kaimar. Could have banned the Rotos there. But I don't want to risk Ru Wukong being tough. So they go first, and Rotos takes out a Nithway. Alright, got stripped off Errol and put up the block buffs. Not going to bring Inithway back yet. Errol's going to get a turn. He's going to cleanse himself, strip and kill Uko, and kill everyone else. And that is what Errol does best. That was a great fight to recover, having gone 1-4 and four the day before. So that was the only fight I did on Thanksgiving Day. And then the rest of this is from the day after. So I go Sifi first. They go again Speed. Arbiter, Kaimar, and then Yumiko, which is a pretty good trio. P fairly intimidating to me to see double reset champs like that. But I feel okay. I'm going to get rid of Yumiko, of course, because I'm not equipped to fight through her. They're going to go first. And they do not strip the Errol, and they do not strip the Sifi. So I'm going to protect the Errol here. I'm going to strip kill, but unfortunately I didn't strip the Arbiter and take her buff. Had I done that, I would have been able to get a second attack. Um, Soul Reap killed her, so he didn't get the extra turn. But I was able to take him out, and they left the battle. So that's a second win in these two days. See who I get for another battle. I get seven up. And this one is pretty far into gold too, so it seems like I've fought this person before. You end up in gold two running into a lot of the same people right now because the pool, it's up over 2,000 now, which is good, but it's still not a big pool compared to when I was really seriously fighting in gold one and the pool was at least 7,000. So we're looking at it at best, I'm at a third the fighting pool there was in Gold 1. So he picked Harima first, and he's also got Warlord in there. I've got Sifi Necret, and then my third support, which is kind of a flex damager, Helicath, and then I've got my Wukong. Wukong I've actually got built at this point. He still has Soul Reap, but he is in more of the disruptive accuracy speed build. He does have some crit rate, but he's not going to do a ton of damage. So I go with Ragash for the final pick, and I ban the Warlord. This is going to be a tough team, and they do ban the Wukong, so I don't really get to test him out. Right before this fight is when I had rebuilt him. So, they go first. Goffred puts up, you don't have to see Goffred be the fastest in the team, but he puts up increased damage to start, or increased defense, which increases Harima's damage. And I put up a sleep on, on Ramantu, and I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have just let him do his thing and slept maybe the Duchess. But that's what I did. So Goffred's able to get a couple stuns out, and... Then Ramontu's able to do his AoE. 
Block passive skills isn't the worst thing in the world, though, with this team. It does. It's unfortunate that I won't be able to get the shields out from Necrat as my Helicath takes a dirt nap. And I very rarely run a cleanser, so that puts me at a little bit of a disadvantage versus Ramontu. So I get polymorphed right there. I was still pretty much in this fight, but kind of lost out on the polymorph there. I don't really worry too much about polymorph. I've said this before, but I'll win versus lower stars of polymorph. Harima often doesn't have that much accuracy, but she'll have some because she, they may want to provoke with her versus someone who's not demon spawn. So not looking too good here. I got the polymorph on Ragash. She's my only real damager. They don't have many buffs up right now, but I'm about half dead on everybody. So this one, probably chalk it up as the first loss of the Thanksgiving and following day. So Rama, or Ragash comes back from Sheep and then immediately gets killed. And Seafy's pretty well debuffed. And that's about it for me on this fight. Helicath's down again. I'm just kind of getting pushed around. So I'll go ahead and leave the battle. Puts me 2-1 and one in this set. See who I get for the next battle. I think... I'm okay with losing 50% or even slightly more than 50% of my fights. So I get grinny, but it's when I start just losing consecutive fights up to three in a row, four in a row, five in a row, that's when I really just get almost desperate for a win just to kind of reverse things a little bit. I mean, they come, it evens out, but it's not fun to lose three, four, five in a row. So grinny picks Wukong right off the bat, and then goes Protector Necret and Harima. Picking Harima right along with Wukong puts a statement that you really can't have a Nithwe in the team. Either that or if you use a Nithwe, you got to ban Harima, and then Necret is still protecting the one you want to use a Nithwe on. I thought about using King Kong there, but I went with Ragash anyway. So a lot of protection here. I'll ban the Necret. And we'll see how it goes. So, I should go first here with Sifi. It's going to be hard to take out the Wukong, especially with Errol being my better damager. I mean, Wukong's not that bad to take out with Errol. A weak kick hit can even do it. But, see how that goes. I take him out with Ragash's first hit. And so what I want to do here is not let Wukong get a shot. I want to try and kill him each time he comes back. And it's difficult when Ultimate Death Knight's in there to do that. And I just came short of doing it again with Ragash. And now Ragash is really low, Errol's dead, and I'm getting it handed to me again. And I did not want to bring Errol back quite yet because I didn't want him to get killed right back to back by Harima there. So now I'm going to pick Ragash try and take out the Wukong and couldn't do it, then Wukong just takes me with his Staff of Wonder. So 2-2 two and two on this set. See if I can get back to some winning. And see who I get. So I get Grinny again. Wasn't really worried about pausing between. I, I thought maybe in a rematch I can take it. So this time I'm going to go with Wukong first. So what I've said before too is in an even match, a fairly even match, in a rematch, the loser has the advantage because you know why you lost, and you can try and take away from their win. Now, if they've got plenty of other champions to put in there, that takes away from your advantage, but I felt like I had the advantage here. So I went Wukong, Warlord, and Sifi. They've got to pick another damager with their first, their fifth pick. So I'm going to go... Remember, Wukong is not a true damager. So it looks like I have three damagers up there. And let's see who they pick. So they pick Emic. At this point, they've got four support, so I'm going to ban the Harima. I don't know how they're going to kill me. I mean, they could. And they're going to ban my Warlord, and then he's going to leave the battle. Because he may not have meant to only pick one damager. 
So I'll get back in there. Right now my rank is over 2,000, which is a good thing. I don't like it down around 1,200 because that means the fighting pool is a lot smaller if I'm at 1,200 because I'm still not really taking off. So if I'm at over 2,000, I'm feeling pretty good that the pool in gold 2 is getting bigger. So after Grinny, I pick Wukong first again. Remember, this is a support Wukong disguised as a damage Wukong. So then I go Necret and Errol. So I have both of my supposed damagers picked already, or at least he's supposed to think that. So he's going speed with a little bit of protection from Ultimate Death Knight. And he has to pick a damager next. I thought about going Staltis and having the appearance of four damagers, but instead I'll go ahead and go Duchess. And I, I think I could have got away with Staltis here too. But he's going to go Rhonda, who's at a plus two. I'll go ahead and ban the Arbiter. I know that a team like this, Cardio is going to be pretty quick. But I'll get rid of the Arbiter so they don't have the attack buff off the bat. So, see who they try to attack. They try to take out Necret and couldn't quite do it. I'll strip and put up block buffs, but Cardio in his next attack is going to cleanse that off as Rhonda takes out the Inithway. I'm then able to take out the Candrafon. I take out the Rhonda, but then she pops right back up because of Cardio. If I can get the Rhonda dead, then I'll be pretty set on this. So Wukong's gone, and Necret's pretty low. I'm able to strip the buffs off, but not get a good hit on the Ultimate Death Knight. Finally, I do take out the Rhonda, and it looks like they're able to take out my Necret. And now I'm just trying to work on him. Sheep the ultimate Death Knight, he'll come back. And can't quite finish him off with the arrow. Stun him. Don't want to sheep him again, so I use the AoE. I think my opponent wasn't timing his, his attacks very well. But kill him, but then he pops back up. Finally finish off the ultimate Death Knight, and then he'll leave the battle. So that puts me at 4-2 and two over these two days after going 1-4 and four the day before. So pretty decent recovery. Hope you enjoyed the video and take care.